Takedo doing a little bit of scanning. Not quite the intensity we're usually used to seeing on display just yet. Yeah, but this is going to be a classic Shoto Shoto match with no Ryu. Oh, a nice change there going into the EX rather than the safe block string fireball. And does indeed catch Momochi. Oh, beautiful focus range. Tokido, of course, coming in second place. Oh, and he gets the juggle. Beautiful stuff, only possible in the corner. Uh-oh, big chance here. Yeah, he wants to oh. do one better than that and get first this year here at Street Fighter 4. With a good start so far, a good sweep on Momochi. Great block string and a nice wait to see if he can bait something out because it is now on Momochi to try and generate some special offense. Yeah, okay, he here's the that, opening. He wants that counter hit on that close stand forward to link it into the ultra. And Takito not even backdashing. He smelled that EX Hurricane kick. Both these players extremely familiar with one another and their own styles. Takito now taking down the pace of the match. Knows he does not want to overcommit. Oh, that second EX Fireball just barely taken that out of the air. Was very, very fortunate on his part, but he'll take it. This guy plays the numbers. A little bolder opening this time. Yeah, that step kick. You don't want to let that advantage for Ken at that range dominate. So you see Takito representing. Oh, wow. Ooh. Just a little maybe badly timed from Momochi. Might have gotten uppercutted out of the delay of that fake step kick. And even Takito wasn't sure it would punish. Yeah. OK. Oh. Nice block string. Oh, caught him. Not a lot of Kara throws represented by Momochi so far. Well, Takito, of course, intimately familiar with that range. Oh, that was his opportunity. He called the right way on the teleport. Not was, able to punish. I think he was just scared of that Ultra 2. That's I think correct. He was trying to bait That's an excellent out. point. You well, can cancel the ending frames of that into the Ultra 2. Very dangerous. Yeah, so Takito, very smart stuff, not falling for that and using it as subterfuge, essentially. Oh, there's the Kara throw. Oh, just barely. Oh. Love that ending sequence. Took one tiny step back. Yes. Took himself right out of that throw range. Able to take that round. We're at one apiece. And shut down Takito's approach. Yeah, beautiful. And two very different rounds, but two very different styles. And I really like the adjustments there from Momochi. Great tech. Yeah, very dangerous to the Takito. Very good at the low strong frame trap. Low strong counter hit, link in the stand roundhouse, the stand to the opponent up. Oh, he's gonna get a crumble here. What with the fancy stuff just to put him back in the corner. That's, That's so exactly smart. what that combo's for. But good reflexes there from Momochi to get that neutral jump with his own uppercut. And I love the measured pace of this third round. Both men have fired their big guns in their first two winning rounds. And now I want to take a Oh, that's an opportunity! He could have gotten a jump kick. He really wanted that deeper yeah. jump in to get a full combo. Cost him his opportunity, but still with a huge oh. life lead. Oh, and that Kara throw misses. Oh, oh. He just jumped out. Incredibly smart. Incredibly smart. That could be the round right there and game one. Yes. Because now he has the space he needs to stay out of trouble. Here's the sweep. Also, Kido needed his one combo into Ultra 2, though. Oh! oh! Denying it says no. There is not a real block string. I can poke my way through this. All I need is the one hit. Beautiful play from Momochi. So Takedo nodding his head. Okay, said, now All right, we're... you got that one. Now we're seeing the serious eye from Takedo. Almost kind of like a little grin there. Like, yeah. you think you had it, but just you wait. Oh, great cancel. Far standing fierce. One of the buffs. Oh, and he baits it out for a full punish. Now we've got to watch out for Danger Dizzy. Dizzy yeah. yeah. That's what he went for. That's why he went for that overhead. Momochi smartly just getting out of there. Getting out of dodge. And everything your opponent knows as a smart player is something you can also know and try and make your adjustments. But this round looks like all Takedo so far. Yep. Mad Cats, Takedo, in dominating yep. fashion. I mean, that was a smart choice there. Now, Momochi could have got away with it, maybe with an EX uppercut, but he probably knew Momochi wouldn't want to waste the meter exactly. on that escape on such a dire, you know, dire yeah. situation anyway. Bad life deficit. Oh, and looking for the counter hit there. Oh, he oh, what a bait! Out. And an excellent punish from Takedo. Yeah, knows the distance. Oh, what a whiff punish! Takedo, so on point. Okay, uppercut, creating the possibility now. Wow. And he has to take those kind of chances now. He knows he's down. Yeah. Great punish. Momochi is definitely representing a lot of uppercuts now. He's trying to get Takedo maybe oh. to stay still a little bit more. Oh, big that could be it. time! Takedo evening the score and looking fantastic. Oh, look at him. He's a happy camper. 
<laughs> Stretching, Momochi's like, I'm sick of this guy. I love that expression from Bukio. <laughs> I do, because that's showing that he's relaxed, that he's confident. That was such a confident last round. Yeah. And you see him doing his own little dance, throwing out jabs. Again, trying to bait that reaction. Momochi with incredible reflexes, but was made to pay for them a few times in that last game with some errant uppercuts. Kido just looking in total command of his character and denying oh, wow. the openings. Nice. Oh, again, voiding the uppercut. Being very slippery. Momochi has had a really hard time chasing him down. It's just such a clean, creative round. Okay, there's the car throw. So try he, gets, and set it up. he gets that after like three or four step kick in the direct uppercut. Yeah, he really. Oh, beautiful adjustment in the air for Momochi. Oh, oh. If he had hit any other button, that would not have connected, but he made the decision in the air to switch to the EX Hurricane and found the opening he might need. Take it back from the dominant start from Takedo. Oh, there it is. Wow. So there you see it. Like I said, last game. He represented uppercuts so much. And After the step kick, yeah, yeah. Which is a great opening move to get inside for Ken. And then all of a sudden, you see, now that he's gotten Tokido thinking about those uppercuts in those situations, he went for throws so much more often. So setting himself up for future games. Even in a losing game, you could be building some strategy exactly. for the future games. Putting some ideas in the mind of the opponent that you can cash in later. Oh! Oh, stays crouching. Smart. Yeah. He didn't want to challenge it. He knew he could get that mix-up again from the EX spin kick. Takedo playing a little more conservatively now. Wow. Ooh, and Momochi. Backdash is out of that Karathro range. And look at the range Takedo's holding. He wants to stay just outside of that step kick range. Oh. Just at the edge of it. And he's gotten he's gotten that trick to work a bunch of times. The, the, the demon flip palm whip. Ooh. Okay, running out of life here, but here's an opportunity, and in comes the jump in. Yeah, Tokido is going to be willing to spend a lot of meter now because he's got to win this round. He wants that low forward fireball, FADC oh. stand fierce. And he doesn't from. challenge the overhead, doesn't kill. Oh. Again, doesn't challenge. Too scared to uppercut. In that afraid. situation, you have to uppercut because you didn't have the life to survive the chip damage. Takedo caught possibly thinking about something else. So much of fighting games is about managing that mental stack, right. anticipating the next move from the opponent so you can queue up in reaction as fast as possible and it's Momochi's game was creative enough to get him not thinking about that jump in and he scored the win. Oh no! And now he's got him in the corner too. And mostly thanks to Takedo's own doing. Yes! Where's that confident man we saw one game ago? This has been so incredibly back and forth. Once again, Tokido taking so much advantage off of that far standing fierce cancel. Blowing up the focus attack. You'll notice how few fireballs are coming from Ken, a fireball character. And it was after that crumple. We saw Tokido do a focus attack just there. He scored one of those in game one and never again. Momochi said, I'm shutting down that option. And Momochi getting out of the corner just simply by oh. jumping. Smart stuff. Oh. Great counter hit Once and the again. use. Yeah. Go and <laughs> <him back. laughs> he caught him. Great tech, but still in the corner and wants to create some space. Will it be the instant EX Fireball? Again, not able to uppercut in time. And a Thunder Kick is going to just steal that from Tokido. That's the beautiful thing about that. You're so used to seeing step kicks, fake step kicks all day. So when you see the Thunder Kick, your reaction is not, here comes the overhead, yeah. let me stand up. It's, here comes the pressure, let me block. Those first few frames, yeah, you get a little nasty surprise at the end. It's enough to close it out for Momochi. Okay, wow. and you see the, 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 the ebb and flow of Momochi's decision. Of the choices. After that step kick, you get a brief advantage, so you can try and go for a throw. Or, of course, the uppercut, which will counter anything that Takedo does. Yeah, and he went from uppercut a bunch of times to yes. throw a bunch of times back to uppercut. That's the essence of the fighting games. Oh, got him. And that's, that's I think, the missing ingredient that scares me about his game thus far. Big combo. And will he keep the pressure? He does. Oh! A missed counter. Very unfortunate for Tequila accidentally stood up and got hit. Oh, chases down the back dash. Saying you the not focus. uppercut for free. 
And it's interesting to me that Momochi has cho chosen to go with W Ultra. So he's not going to have quite the damage. Oh, oh, oh no. no! If he had only jumped in, that would have been his round. Yep. If he, even if he had just gone with the palm, he would have been able to take it. And now Takedo looking briefly hungry, now slowing it down again. Oh, it's very dangerous game of footsies. Oh! Just switching up the rhythm right there. A little bit of a low percentage sort of surprise move. And catches Momochi possibly sticking out a step kick. It's a common a tactic to chase someone down right when they land for a jump. So you delay that a little bit with that air fireball. And this is match point for Evil Genius's Momochi in this three out of five set. Tokido must win here to survive. And there you saw the reason why Tokido was scared to uppercut. He did, and the Hurricane still managed to get behind him. Yeah, it's a very, very slippery move. It's very risky to uppercut, but there are certain situations where you must challenge it. You can't let him have that air superiority. Oh, Ooh, now with the low fierce. Yes. Smart stuff. He doesn't go forward there. Oh, Ooh, just a little too high to complete the combo. Could be it. He gets the long hurt. Oh. oh, what a range. Yeah, reverses that momentum with that carefully planted low short. Oh, did not just straight into uppercut. He no. might have been able to chip him with I that. know, and he wasn't confident in the read that it would kill, and now he's taking a lot of chances. This is looking a little loosey-goosey for Takedo. Nice back dash, but still, Momoji's getting cut. The nerves are catching up. To oh, Takedo. I got him again. This could be it. Does he have enough for the chip out? Oh, he catches him. And, and that Momoji is with a clutch comeback. And he's going to take it over Tokido. And you see Tokido shaking his head. Knows that he gave away that last match. Exactly. He just got nervous, ate an EX fireball, ate a carrot throw, and he started playing more not to, not to lose than he did playing to win. You've nailed it right there. Yeah. He understood his situation, and this is the liability of a numbers cruncher like Tokido. He understood the situation. He wasn't positive he could win with the chip out in a guaranteed situation, so he decided to play conservatively. Momochi smelled that immediately, took full advantage. Takedo maybe a bit flustered and let the whole round slip away. He's not out of the tournament, but he's going to the loser's bracket. Right. There was definitely blood in the water. Momochi smelled it, and he just went for the kill. But, you know, once again, these events like this Evolution 2015, again, shout-outs to all everybody at home watching. But we cannot put these events on for you without all of our sponsors. Shout-outs to Mad Cats, of course. You see them, they're always bringing Tokido to all the different events here, but they're also making sure that we have these events by sponsoring these events.